Uh, this sets up an incredible matchup with Morgan Siblick. Uh, let's, let's, let's not forget that John John was surfing amazing up at Newcastle as well and just maybe made a couple of tactical errors in his heat against Morgan. I don't think he'll be wanting to make those same errors here. Over the place with their eyeballs hanging out of their head at the moment. <laughs> Morgan Siblick. This was uh, earlier on the five. Just still looking crisp and sharp as ever. Yeah, he is looking super fast and we've said it time and time again. You know, Morgan's Morgan's strength is the speed at which he comes off the lip and he zips it. He accelerates out of them. This is the 417 from John, the answer back. Nice oh. critical turn. Jeez, he gets the release off the fins. And the second one as well, and the wave just tapered out. If that thing uh, had a decent finish of it, that could have gone anywhere. Amazing. And uh, here we go, 473 for Morgan. A bigger wave drives around and he bounds the lip as well. So these guys are just going uh, hell for leather not holding anything back and some really critical turns here Ron on the backhand this Grom is gnarly that is a, a full-blown power blow and uh, yeah he, he just ran out of sections to work with down the line but he got really well rewarded there 4.73 for a backhand fin throw and uh, Morgan got himself shacked he let go of some nice calves uh, it was always going to be hard to match it with Gabriel but in this contest, he's been really strong. Had a tough first heat with Mick Fanning and Italo. Progressed through in second spot. Overcame Julian Wilson. Maybe even had a, another win over the two-time world champion. But John John's going to look to pounce on this ride. So quick in transition off the bottom. That first turn, super dynamic. Push that tail. And now gets an opportunity to tee off with another major turn. So two, two solid moves on that ride, a bit of an in-between transition turn. ...of his comfort zone. Let's have a look at this last wave of John John. Steadies himself, comes off the top, and gets the fin release. Composes again, a little tap there, and another tight little pocket turn. Gets the little hit there, doesn't ride out of it. That doesn't matter. All the points are going to be in this first turn. And then uh, this little second adjustment turn here. And then the third one, bang, tight in the pocket. You can see the fins blast out the back of the wave. Just how square did he come off the bottom on that, Ronnie? And then uh, that go, slam uh -oh. that one out the lip. Here we go. Florence, well, that's a make. Even though it's not a big air, it's a make. And that'll give him a little bit of confidence if he lines up a ramp in the later stages of this heat. But 20 minutes to go, Florence still waiting for the numbers for his previous ride. And now this wave, he had to surf with that knee injury for uh, a period of time there but the break last year is giving him an uh, opportunity to warm up as we see Morgan again just pinpoint timing has that that explosive release in the lip just continues to bash away at each wave he takes off on let's check out the replay here nice and compact off the bottom blasting off the top straight out of it with speed up into the second section critical the lip was actually coming down and he was able to go up and over it watch this first turn Bang, slams it up there, gets the fins free, redirects the nose pointing back towards the trough. And within a millisecond, gets back up there again and really rips off the lip of that one. This is, this is not the same kind of surfing that Morgan Siblick used to qualify for the championship. To Moving towards the, the competition area, looks like Morgan's going to have a go at this. John passes this one up. And Morgan just that low centre of gravity and a huge backhand jam. With each of those turns, he's pushed those fins a little higher. And that was sliding across the lip, right across the middle of his board. And he really... A good look at this one. Drive straight off the bottom. And he basically turns a foot and a half off the lip as if he was on the lip. And it was an amazing thing to watch. Watch this. Bang. You'll see the whole bottom of his board come out reconnects the fins and drives out of it a remarkable turn and the reason why john didn't go that way is because it tapered so much and he didn't really see anything down the line but morgan just went i'll give it one huge crack throw everything into it and have a look at that unbelievable foot actually comes off the tail pad he gets it back on there connects back with the wave all the weight on the tail right there to keep his nose out from uh, nose diving throws it back up for the second one as the lip comes down well, Critical. A, a nightmare situation for John, not just because he passed up on this from the break. We'll bring it to you in just a moment. But this performance has been something special from the Grom. It's been absolutely amazing as we catch up on a ride that John John got in the break. And it was a good one too. He got three good turns on. And, uh, well, he needed that to get back into this heat. 
can start closing that gap between the youngster. Morgan using that priority. That's the best thing that can happen for John at this point. Yeah, and it looks like a bit of a sleepy start on this ride. So Morgan probably not going to improve that position, but again, just clean surfing and uh, tries to spin the reverse on the end section. A minute to go now, and John just uh, will be sitting out there just, just praying, just begging, begging for the opportunity, and please have a big ramp coming my way. Some of the best backhand surfing I think we've really seen ever in, in performance, and uh, Morgan Siblick, the young kid, what, a, what an amazing heat.